Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your girl Bun and I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna jump on this little bandwagon of the fox eye makeup trend. That makeup look is just so pretty. It makes everyone's eyes just look so like, mm, so cute. So I've always been a fan of liner on my eyes. However, I've never really extended the line down to the inner corner and kind of connected it more for like the fox eye or more of like a feline look. So wait, two years ago, I dressed up as a fox for Halloween. I did do this once, but I did it for Halloween and it was with like a black gel eyeliner. So it was kind of, it was like harsh, but it was just, you know, I've never done this for where I would when I would wear it um, you know during the daytime I'm gonna do it a little bit lighter today yeah so as you can see I do have my face on I'm just going to be doing the eyes today and let's get started should I zoom you guys in oh hi okay so for the eyes I'm just gonna take my hula bronzer and I'm just going to run this bronzer through my crease and just kind of give my eye a little bit of definition to begin with so just gonna run this here and then I'm going to on the outer corner I'm just kind of gonna flick it upwards just to start working on that little fox eye, cat eye, whatever you want to call it, lift. I'm going to bring this color in towards like my nose contour and really put some shadow right here. And just bring it down. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs, this is their Accomplice Concealer. I'm in shade Light 20, and I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And I'm going to cut my crease, my nose, I gotta fix that. I'm going to take a small shader brush, a very thin definer shader brush, and I'm going to cut the crease. and cut out right there in the inner corner and lighten that area and that's where I want to cut the crease. I really want to take it deep down into that inner corner and have that part light. I'm cutting the crease right below where I started to go in making that shadow towards my nose I'm cutting it right below there. Taking my Sipping Pretty palette from Kylie Cosmetics, I'm gonna take this light shade in here and place that on top of the where I of the cut crease to set that cut crease. Okay, for the liner, I'm going to be using eyeshadows. It's not so harsh. It's a little bit more forgivable, so you can always, if you mess up, kind of wipe it away with some concealer. And it's just more, in my opinion, for me, on my face, a little daytime friendly. Okay, so taking this Morphe, this is the 35M palette. I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade. Okay, so first, I'm going to take this really, this is the, actually, it's the e.l.f. concealer brush. And it's very, if you can see it, it's very, very tiny. And I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to hit it with some setting spray. I never, when I do apply liner on a, just a normal day, I never go all the way across my eye. My eye, I don't have enough lid space for that, so I always keep my liner on the kind of halfway and out. Literally on the outer portion of my eye line the lash line to go up with this and really lift the eye. And 
and then kind of stamp it along the lash line. All right, now I'm just gonna take this angled line brush, a little setting spray, dip into the brown, make this a sharper wing. So light pressure, so it kind of drags out. I'm just gonna connect this down to the lid. And fill it in. Now that I have this wing, I'm gonna fill in what I think needs to be filled in, like right there. But I'm only taking this liner like on the outer corner of my eye and dragging it up. Now I'm going to take this small detail brush and I'm just going to very, very gently kind of blend this on the eye and just make it look a little bit more blended and not too harsh. Just kind of blend it out. Always dragging the product up. All right, and now dipping in the brown again, I'm just going to connect where your natural line is and just draw down. Ever so slightly, just trying to connect that back up to the tear duct area. And I'm just taking this, I'm gonna take the pointed side of this brush and just try to connect it back up. I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer and just run it through my lower lash line. Just not too much, just a little definition down there. First, let me apply some mascara really quick to the lashes. This is the NARS Climax Mascara in Explicit. I'm gonna take these Ardell Wispies and I'm going, this is the Faux Mink. And I always do this, but especially with this look, it's really good if you cut your lashes in half and only apply them to the outer portion of your eye. See how those just kind of make your eye more lifted when you just put it on the outer edge? It's so pretty, I love it. And then I always do kind of push them up a little bit, just lift them up. Cause you gotta, you kind of have to train them to like be how you want them. Once they're kind of dry, just lift them up. Make sure they're glued the hell down. I'll just apply a quick lip really quick. I'm gonna use my KKW Beauty liner in Nude One. And then I'm gonna take my MAC lipstick. This is Bare Bling. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the center and then just take a lip brush and blend it in a bit. The more that I look at this eye, it's not as sharp as I want. I'm gonna take that smaller brush and really Try to sharpen this. So now, this is the completed makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this fox eye makeup is just really pretty. I feel like it can complement any type of eye shape. It's just really pretty, makes the eyes look very lifted, 
and Foxy. Foxy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that little like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video.